Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Human Echo When They Cry. In the last episode, we had an interesting theory that just falls flat on its face because of previous chapters. If we're talking about previous games and two games ago, Butler outright meant, or met Kinzo. Oh, so we we have to work this into a way that she has no choice to respond or else she gets screwed over. At least until she argues back. Except I already know that that's a load of shit because Kinzo... You met Kinzo in Chapter 2. You can't get much more alive than that. Hold on, what was that? Triggering the part of the... Okay. Yeah, so rework the question, rework the theory into making it matter for the witch. Because if you don't, she does she has no reason to tell you. Yeah. It sucks, but that's basically it. So you have to figure out a new way to get around this. <laughs> I love how she had a little song note, or that 07 had a little song note to that. Right, because if she doesn't respond, then that, that she can't get out of it. So, she's just delaying us. Must be encountered during the game. I love how 07 had to tell us during the episode. Yes, we we got it. We we know. The question is, does he have to explain every game? Or does he just have to explain the game he's in? Because if he just had to explain the game he's in, then we could just throw away the situation with Dr. Nanjo entirely. Alright, hold on. Or, no, not that. This. Oh yeah, midnight on October 5th. So that's how we win. 
the time the game ends, the witch side will be given a chance to argue back. One minute. Oh, we're playing with fire, so we have until 2401, as soon as midnight hits, to explain everything. Ugh. Oh, we're playing with fire. We are playing with fire. One minute. One fucking minute. Zero, 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 one on October 6th. Butler has a tendency to stop and think, but a minute to think isn't long, guys. We have to have all our fucking... We have to have all our eggs in the basket, nothing unaccounted for. Wait, what? Now we have blue truth? What the fuck? Okay, hold on. We have red truth. Now we have blue truth. How the hell do you con construct blue truth? Take one of the rows from the past where I asked her to repeat something. The actual number of the master keys is... F okay, yeah, I remember this. But since that by itself couldn't deny the witch, I can't say it in blue. Okay, I'm still confused on blue. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. No, hold on. And only them in which claim to be closing would be if someone's making... In other words, I can't demand they should repeat something to check the premise of my reasoning. That will probably be significant. So, blue denies witch. Red is truth, blue denies witch. I- I'm still confused on what blue does! Red is, red was very cut and dry. It is the truth no matter what. But blue so blue sorry, hit the mic. So blue is like um Gosh damn it, now I need to ask people. I'm gonna like ask at the end of the episode, like in my Discord chat or something. Like I I really do not know what blue does. This is blue truth, and it's uh it's made to counteract witches or something. Can you give me an example of you using blue, at least, so I can, like, base it off of that? Because if I can base it off of that... Uh... With a wall?
Yeah. Okay. I get it. So instead of ma instead of like trying to expose the witch theory. Just make a wall. Okay, okay, I... Okay, I kinda get this. So by hitting her from multiple angles, we might be able to put a hole in her theory. One single theory is just going to... It's just gonna be... A miss. But if we blast with multiple theories all at once, it's possible to catch her off guard. <laughs> so that's an awkward gun. I would have used a shield, but sure. Yeah, if we could do that, then this game would have been over in, like, chapter 2, 3, if we were really pushing it. Aim really well and take shots? No. No, we try and do everything else. I get it. I think I get the blue truth. I really want to see him use the blue truth, though. Your handicap is what is that you're using, uh a bad gun. So are you going to use the blue truth in the last minute? I have to wait the whole episode just for that? Okay, so that's blue truth. Ushiromi Akinzo is already dead, therefore the total number of people on the island is 17. By adding an unknown person X to that, it becomes 18 people! By supposing that the person X exists, the crime is possible even if all 17 people have alibis! Holy shit! That's an interesting truth! The problem is, though, do here's the thing: Kinzo's piece was alive in Chapter Two. Now, whether his piece is alive in Chapter Four right now, that remains a mystery. Till we see it, we have our blue truth.
Oh, what what's his penalty? He's totally gonna die in the in like the first twilight. That's right, cause Dr. Nanjo said that he had three months to live. That is interesting. If we're just looking at this chapter alone, that that is so interesting. The fact that they didn't meet him last year, that's so suspicious. Schrodinger's cat. Kinzo could be alive and dead, and the reasonings behind him not letting us see him are also the same for both malevolent and benevolent reasons. So we're implanting the idea into his mind. This is a huge mind game. That's right, it would be a shame if you're doing a good job. Don't don't worry about it. Just just don't worry about all the strange papers. <laughs> that's the first time I've seen him like that, and that's brilliant. To pay security money. You are bribing him! <laughs> oh my god, nine billion!
That... That is how almost half of the fucking money he has! Granted, a billion dollars is a fuckload of money. A billion yen is a fuckload of money. Ah. Uh. Damn! I don't think I... I don't think I could be in his position. Yeah, just leave it for uh, two days from now. Don't worry about it. But he could be dead. He could already be dead. And instead of Kinzo, we have Mystery Person. Yeah, let's let's pull our heads. Time limits. It has to be sometime tonight. You know, because tomorrow. When tomorrow comes, we'll confirm Father's well being. He's totally gonna die tomorrow. It's totally gonna be the first Twilight. I feel really bad for Cross. Cross just keeps on getting shit on every chapter. Help! Yeah, no, it's save for chapter 3, Cross has been the first Twilight in every chapter and everything. Oh my gosh. You could only fucking imagine. Anyways, we're gonna leave it off now that they're gone. So until then, guys, until then, see you then.